Hello everyone, it's Paula here from Craftables and I'm here to show you our layout for last week. This is our Make-A-Wish layout, so it's a universal type of uh, birthday scrapbook page. Um, so I've tried to make it so it could be for boy or girl, teenagers, men and women. So I've just it's a very plain type of one here, but if you wanted to recreate this, you could do all different colours and make it more personalised to the person that you're doing it for. So basically it's just a very simple um, birthday page here so let's get started so we're gonna do um sorry i'll just pop that up there for now so i have started out with my white cardstock so my white cardstock the 12 by 12 cardstock i've cut it in the middle here so i've cut the frame out in the middle so i've come in one inch on all four sides so i've measured in one inch and i've cut that middle piece out so that middle piece that you cut out you can put aside to use for later for your photo mats okay so that's that one now i have cut my pattern paper down to 11 and a quarter uh, sorry 11 and a half by 11 and a half so that piece there is going to go down onto my white background piece so i'm just going to put that on there now so it doesn't matter which way up you've got it well, this one's got a nice little starburst in the middle, so I've got a very plain background here. As I said before, I just wanted to make it quite a universal page. So this is 11 and a half by 11 and a half. All right, so our next part of this is we're going to do our photo mats. Now, I have I've cut out three photo mats here, so I've got two measuring three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So they'll fit a three by four photo and I've got a four and a quarter by six and a quarter photo mat which will fit a four by six. So I'm actually going to do those on there like this. Now before I carry on and stick those down, I've got two, sorry, three coordinating papers here. So I've got it like a blue, purpley, purple and a green type of one. And all three of these are cut to three by four inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pop these on. So that one's going to go up that way and I'm going to have that slightly at the back there so one can go on the back there so just to give it a bit more color on there as well so you don't have to be too stringent about where they go I'm just putting a bit of color behind them so I'm just going to put some tape on there and I'm going to put one of those behind each of the papers here so I'll just take that off there so I just want it popping out a little bit I don't want too much going on there so that one there, I've just got a little bit poking out the corners there. So that one's going to go down there. So I'm just going to carry on with this one and I'm just going to pop another bit. So I'm just going to take off my tape around the back. Okay, so this one here, I just want to place sort of along the top there, just so it's got a bit of colour coming out there, like that. Okay, so that one will go in the middle, and this one I'm just going to pop on there, behind there as well. So after you've put these on, you can put them onto your layout, and then you can pop your photos onto those pieces there as well. So if you don't have any photos at the moment, you can pop them on a bit later, that's fine. Right. Okay, so there we have our three photo mats there. And I'm just going to stick them down now so that I can get them nice and even along the bottom there. So I'm just going to put my first, my big one in the centre first of all. So I'm going to make sure that's right in the centre. Like that. And then I'm going to bring this one over on a bit of an angle. Not a huge amount, just a little bit of an angle there. Like that. Actually I might take the backing it might pay to take the backing tape off it might stick a bit better then <laughs> okay so that one's just going to go on a bit of an angle just down by my 4 by 6 photo there and I'm going to do the same with this piece here as well okay so just on a bit of an angle again there we are so as you can tell, we've just got a little bit of a pop of colour coming behind those photos there. Okay, so the next step, we're going to cut out our balloons. So I've got five different sized balloons here. So I've got medium and small and large and that, and I've just cut coordinating papers out. So I've basically used the colours that I've put behind my photos here, and I've cut these out there. 
Now I did cut out some templates of different size balloons on my silhouettes. So if you have a punch, go for it. Or you got a die, that would be even easier. So this one, I've just cut out three different sizes on my silhouette machine and use these as a template to get these ones here. So uh, what I'm going to get that done is I'm going to grab some of my twine and on the back of each one I'm just going to put a little bit of sticky tape there and I'm just going to put a little bit of the twine in the tape just to hold it there like that. So that one I'm going to place about up here. So I'm just going to take the tape off the foam there. So I've put foam tape on the back. So I'm just going to put that on a bit of an angle there. Now I want my string to come just below my photo there. So I'm just going to cut that off. And I'm just going to keep going ahead and putting my balloons on. So I'm just going to do exactly the same thing as I did with my first one. Put a little bit of tape there. Put the string in again just to hold it in place. I've got my foam tape already on the back. And that one I'm just going to layer over a little bit on top of my other one there. So again I'm going to bring my string down just below my photo. Cut that off. And I've got a nice big one here that I'm going to put on the other side there. There we go. So this one I'm going to place just there. So again I'm just going to cut it off down the bottom of my photo mats there. So basically I've designed this page just as a guide for any sort of birthday party or any birthday photos that you want to put on there. So you can change colours around and do whatever colours you like on there. Okay, so actually I might just put that one there. Yep, put that one there. And cut it down the bottom. And my last one I'm going to put about here just to cover up that bit of a gap there. So I don't want my string pulling too tight. I might just put that underneath the string. About there. Okay. So when you come to do your muslin, which is our next step under here, I'm just going to sort of bunch up those bits of twine there, just so the balloons have a bit of a um, wrinkle to those straps there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab some muslin. So it's only a very thin strip of muslin there and I'm just going to rough it up in my hands so you want to be quite rough with this because we want it to look really messy on our page there okay all right so give it a good scratch up pull it apart don't be gentle with it just like that so that's perfect so I want little bits of twine hanging out from it and all sorts of things so what I'm going to do I'm going to bunch my balloons up there like that and I'm going to put my muslin right over the top there so basically I'm going over the bottom of my photos and just over the, top, the bottom of those balloon strings so to do that I'm just going to put a strip of glue along there so you could use tape if you wanted to or glue is fine as well so I'm just going to put a big strip along there so if you want to put photos on there, just be, just be careful not to put your glue on your photo mat so you've got some place to put your photos. Okay, so just bunch it up in little areas if you've got enough muslin there to do that with. Okay. Awesome. Okay, so that's our muslin put down there. I'll just give you a bit of a close-up for that. Still on there, so like you can see, it's not a precise art to do that. <laughs> You're just throwing it on there like that. Now, with whatever leftover papers I had, I cut some little, um, some little pennants out. So I've got some different colours here. As as I say again, I've tried to keep it fairly neutral, um, just so you get the idea of what you can do with things like that. So I've cut out about twelve little pennants. Now these pennants measure one inch across the top, and they measure one and a quarter. Uh, sorry, was it one and three quarters? Let me just check that. Yes, sorry, it was one by one and three quarters, and then I've just cut them into a V shape like that. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue, glue these on now, but I'm going to glue them sort of a little bit haphazardly and randomly. I'm not going to be too, too fussed about where they go. So I'm just going to put some glue on the back. And I'm just going to do that until I get right to the very end along here. some more different colours to go along it's a pretty quick and easy little video uh, sorry a little um, scrapbook page to do actually it's not it's not hard to do it's very quick and easy so I hope you give it a go um, and don't forget to customize it to your photo so that you very so that you're happy with it there. <laughs> We're getting there slowly. <laughs> I'll do that side to give it a bit of color. So I'm really not being too fussy about how I'm putting these down either. Some are on angles, some aren't. I seem to have lost a couple of my pennants. Anyway, you get the idea. So you would carry on along there. So I've got I've got them all sort of a bit messy looking and a little bit higgledy piggledy. All right, so pretty much that's the end of how you do that video or that page. So. All I've done is I've just got a bunch of little flowers here and I've just bunched them up around the bottom of my balloon strings there. So I'm going to glue those down. But if you wanted to keep this more male than female, then you can just take these off. You don't need to put the flowers on there. You could put, maybe put something a bit more um, party orientated, like some little present pictures or something down there. So I'm just going to put those there for mine. And I've got some little sequins that I've got here. So I've got some little round ones and I've got some little stars. And I'm just going to pop a few of those on. Just in the random places on my page. Just to give it a bit of sparkle. There we go. So I would carry on and do some more sparkles around there. So I'll just bring my other one back in so you can see. So I would carry on doing some sparkles on there. You could put candy glitz on there to make it a bit more um, shiny and sparkly, which would be perfectly fine to do. Then I've also got my title, Make a Wish. And I have done this on my silhouette machine as well. So I'm not going to stick it down, but you'll get the idea of what I'm doing. So I've got Make wish and I've just got that along there and I would I've got a little bit of journaling I've done on my other one down the bottom there also I've just done a couple of little bows so if you want to just pop a bow or two on one of your little the bottoms of your little balloons that would be quite pretty too so I haven't glued all that down because you'll get the idea of it but this is the finished page again so as you can see it's a pretty quick and easy one to do. You can adjust it to any pictures that you've got. Um, you could do male, female, girl, boy, teenagers, anything you like with it. So I hope you give it a go and that you enjoy the video. So thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks. Bye.